Hi friends, Simit here from InformTrades.com. In today's video, we're going to provide an introduction to bonds and review some of the basic terms that bond investors and traders need to know. Let's get started. Okay, key points, the terms we'll discuss or define in this video. The principle of a bond, the yield of a bond, what a coupon payment on a bond is, a bond's duration, and its call date. Okay, now to define these terms and sort of put them in context, let's take a look at a sample bond issuance uh, on the screen right now, courtesy of davidlearner.com. You can see Puerto Rico Commonwealth General Obligation Bond. So this is a bond issued by the government of Puerto Rico, and just a sample bond so that we can sort of analyze its components and see what that means for um, prospective bond investors. First, at the top of the screen, you see the face value. So that is basically the loan amount. If you're an investor, you're buying 100000 or you're loaning, excuse me, you're loaning for the Puerto Rican government here $100,000. Okay, so that is how much the Puerto Rican government is asking for. That's how much the bond that you have is worth. I mean, that's the face value of it. That's what they owe you back uh, at some point. <clears throat> Down here, the next item is the interest rate on the bond. So you see 4.5%, and this is called the yield or the annualized yield or the bond equivalent yield. Sometimes, as you'll see, the interest payments are payable semi-annually, right? So you're actually making two payments that total will be 4.5%. So even though it's paid semi-annually, um, each payment is basically 2.25%. You can sort of see that here, coupon payment uh, on the right side. Each two times a year, if you... If you investors who hold this bond, if they lend, um, if they bought this bond, which means they lend the Puerto Rican government $100,000, two times per year, they're going to get a payment of $2,250. So in the times two, or in the course of a year, they're going to get $4,500, which equals 4.5% of the face value. So that's where this 4.5% comes from. It's basically the sum of the coupon payments um, in the course of a year, divided by the face value. And you can compare it to dividend yield when you're trying to get an idea of what's the income possibilities of a particular bond versus a particular stock. Um, but we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit later. As noted, the payment frequency, you know, some bonds pay annually, others semi-annually, others quarterly. Um, so that's also something that you want to consider. February 1st and August 1st. So basically, you know, right now, this, is, uh, this video is being made in March of 2015. The next coupon payment is coming August 2015, and it's going to be $2,250. Um, and then the coupon payment after that would be February of 2016. This is also something to consider if the bond gets traded, right? So uh, in many instances, you won't be buying the bond directly from the corporation or government or whoever that's issuing the bond, but from an investor. So some investor may have purchased this bond and they want to sell it. You know, when they sell it will determine, you know, what your when your next pay, coupon payment is, as well as, um, you know, the overall, the real value of the bond, how many coupon payments you have left, how much you want to pay for it, things like that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in future videos. Maturity date. So basically you're getting 4.5% all the way until 2036. That is when the bond ends. Now, when the bond matures, they will stop paying you the agreement. The, the trade is over, basically. Uh, you won't get any more coupon payments, and you will get payable upon on the maturity date is the return of the face value. So you're getting your $100,000 back, and you're getting you're no longer getting 4.5% interest, which you have be, will be getting up until 2036. Now, there is a catch with uh, some bonds. If a bond has a call date, it's known as a callable bond, the bond issuer can decide to pay the, can mature the bond early. Basically, they will decide that, all right, we will pay the full principal now rather than waiting and paying all the interest payments until 2036. So callable bonds, usually if a bond issuer is issuing a callable bond, they'll, um, they'll do so at a, with a higher interest rate. They're paying a little bit for the right to call the bond early, to pay it off early. Um, so this is, the call date is, in the, this particular instance, on August 1st of 2015, the Puerto Rican government can say, you know what, we actually will just pay it off early. We don't want to deal with the future interest rates, we'll pay it off early. The, usually the main reason why a company that has a callable bond will choose to call it is that interest rates have gone down. So right now, 
you know, this bond is paying 4.5%. The Puerto Rican government says to themselves, you know, we could probably issue a bond and maybe pay 2% on it. They may call this bond rather than wait until 2036 and then issue a new bond with a lower interest rate. So call date is also something or, or the likelihood of a call is something you especially want to consider if you're buying a bond secondhand in the aftermarket from an investor. Then you want to think about how much you want to pay for the bond because you might not get the full uh, interest rate. So if you're thinking, all right, I can pay X because I'm going to get interest payments up until 2036. Well, the bond is called, then you may not get all those interest payments that you had factored into that you had thought about when you fact when you decide the price that you would pay for it. So we'll discuss a little bit more of this as we get into bond strategy. But this is basically the basics. You know, you have the face value here, the annualized interest rate, the payment frequency, the coupon payment, right? So coupon payment is how much you're getting paid uh, in each interest payment. Um, and the sum of the coupon payments in a year helps you calculate your annualized yield, right? Coupon payments in the sum of a year divided by the face value gives you your annualized yield. A maturity date is when your interest payments end and when you will get your face value back. And the call date is when the bond issuer has the option of basically paying off the bond early. And that's about it. We'll get into some of the more details, some other things that you may want to consider when you're a bond investor uh, in future videos. Any questions you have, anything you want to add, join us at informedtrades.com. Best of luck in your trading and investing, and we'll see you next time. Take care.